He's so Grammy. You're supposed to put your feet in the stirrups. He just had a horse. Oh, okay. But to put your toes in the horsey stirrups. There you go. Okay, rock the horsey. Are you riding a horsey? <laughs> Did you learn how to sit on the fender today? Yeah? Oh. Alright, you hold on good. You'll be a big boy, hold on. Go back, barn. People used to drive cars like that a long, long time ago. 100 years ago. Oh, Leo forgot to fix on the spare wheel. Howdy, y'all. July the 3rd. We have been moving hay from wagon to wagon. Fixing electric fences around here for several days now. We think we got them all up and working. Um, taking wagons back to the neighbors that belong to the neighbor because he needs his wagon back. Moving other stuff. Um, Chris has been working on his 230 and uh, taught Jordan how to drive a zero turn around a little bit today. So maybe we'll get her on the Get her on there mowing grass one of these days. Right now I'm thinking about looking at tearing this carburetor off this, off this Alice Chalmers. See if I can get it to idle. It won't idle. It won't idle without the choke. So definitely something in there. We gotta take apart yet. So we'll see what happens. Well, we tore it apart. Put it back together. Let's see if it runs. Emily's taking the radiator apart so we can change the radiator and the water pump on the Alice. We did get it running, sort of. Well, we busted the lower radiator hose loose. Taking the radiator out. Emily run it all down my leg. So, yeah, that's awesome. We got it apart. Maybe. Now we just gotta figure out if they sent us the right radiator this time. Wheel? We got a radiator off. We need to change a water pump and a radiator. And this is a nasty, nasty mess. I really wish I had a power washer right now running so I could hit this thing before I tore it apart. But we don't. It really saddens me. Um, I got a question for the Alice people. Is this normal? Look at this fan. It literally looks like it's missing two blades. But they're nice and smooth. They're not rough or nothing. 
Um, I've never seen anything like that before. So is that normal on an Alice Chalmers? Y'all let me know. This is a D17, by the way. Okay, kitty. Oh, kitty. I tell you what, this old cat. Nobody's seen this cat for a week. They've been cleaned up in the barn. And apparently, whatever they did in the barn, they scared the daylights out of this cat. Here, kitty, kitty. Come on. Come on, kitty, kitty. Oh, kitty, kitty. Okay, kitty. Back at it again. Today's going to be really painful, though. We're filling up two trucks. Well, that's how much it costs to go tractor pulling the other weekend. Plus the other stuff. So I'm coming up the driveway, and I'm like, what the hell is that? Oh wait, that's my trailer that fell apart in the driveway when I was going to get gas. There's no deck up here no more. It's gone. That's the rest of my trailer laying on the road. I guess we better pick that up. Happy 4th of July, y'all. I'm starting off the morning by filling up my gas tanks in my trucks not a pretty sight my trailer just fell apart I knew it was falling apart but I didn't know it was gonna fall apart there's some more up here there's the rest of it I guess we got to pick that up now yeah probably need to rebuild that now Okay, so we were getting a discount, but it only pumps to 20 gallons on the last one. So we had to hang it up and start it all over again to finish filling up the excursion. So I'll give you a tally here in a little bit. Plus we got like 50 cents off of gas from that using the card the last time, but it didn't work this time, so. Well, y'all, $297 in gasoline this morning. It cost me the other day when we went tractor pulling, it was, it would have been 200, like $225, I think, to go tractor pulling the other day. That's what it cost us. But $396 in gasoline this morning. So, it's great. Plus, my lawnmower won't start. I don't know what's wrong with it, so I got the other one. Well, Dad, come back here and rake some hay. Then we went off to the house to eat his sandwich. Then he come back out here to fire his tractor back up and it won't start. So then he tried to hot wire it. He probably melted everything together. So now he's waiting on somebody to go. No, but I don't know that I can. You got like 100 miles on to go. Look it 
up to the wagon to take it to the barn and unload it. Well, the yard looks better. Mud grass yesterday.